Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. Today is Thursday. It is June 17th, 2021. And clear blue skies going today. Absolutely nice. Uh, temperatures are fairly mild, which is also very helpful. And uh, so actually I was going to show you a couple things. So I wanted to make watering in the greenhouse and the garden easier using our 50, 550 gallon um, rain catchment storage water, right? So I'll show you what I did. So I want to show you this first. Uh, we got Margie's camper here and then I actually, well, we'll, we'll do this stuff first. Um, so I bought a quarter horsepower submersible pump. Uh, picked up the garden hose. I got another thing for Miss Ella uh, because she's so big. <laughs> so I got her another thing to put on her. And then this is a uh, seven setting, so seven different patterns for the hose. So um, I will be hooking that up today. So it's going to make garden or gardening much much easier. Um, and it's a 75 foot hose. Again, if I have to, I can always attach another hose. Um, onto that as well So it's going to make it much much easier. I don't know how much reach we're going to have uh, with that so That's the largest hose that they had was a 75 foot one So that's why I got that one if they'd have had a hundred foot hose. I would have grabbed a hundred foot hose but uh, And they only had the one uh, Hose there at 75 feet so um, again, if, if need be, we will, because then we can actually get out here, water here. Um, definitely be able to water in a greenhouse with no problem. And then we'll see how far we can get over this way with it. But I'll plug the, uh, I'll put the submersible pump into the, the tank uh, through here. We have the power that we can hook up right here for everything and do that. And then, um, you know, and we can just kind of go from there. But uh, then we'll have that attached and be able to run that hose uh, for that water. And that's going to be uh, uh, a good thing that way. There's Mr. Luce. What's up, Lucy? What's he doing? He's a good boy. So, all right. So Joel is back today. So I'll show you guys this here real quick too. Joel, you want to give us a quick rundown of what you're accomplishing today for uh, everything? Now. It's on. It's on. Stick your head right in here. All right. The well pump is directly fed into the mother's home. Um, and since it's a flowing well, we got a shutoff valve right here just in case the well overflows I can control it right here But this blue PEX line comes across direct from the well over in there and that cubby in there is the pressure tank I can uh, hopefully show that and you guys can see that uh, Let's see. Hopefully you guys can see that tank in there <laughs> Anyway, hopefully they can anyways that pressure tank and the switch on the pressure tank controls the well pump. So when they... Let me just... I'll do it like this so people can... I think you guys can... Yeah, there you guys will be able to see that. So there's the tank. That's the pressure tank right here. That switch right there controls the well pump. So when they draw 12 gallons of water out of this pressure tank, the switch will go down and... and kick the well pump on and tell the well pump to fill the pressure tank back up again. So so it's a pressurized system now instead of a gravity into an open storage tank. Okay. So as long as they keep power to the well pump, they have constant pressure on your plumbing lines. All right. So the, he's getting that all set up, guys, and doing what he's got to do. And so what he has here, that's a plug for the heat tape. Okay, so coming up out of the ground, the uh, the it's got it's got two things of insulation. Then he has the heat tape in there as well. 
that's going to help it so that the line doesn't freeze in the winter time because it definitely does get cold up here. <laughs> yeah, the, the option with the heat tape, especially these new ones today, I only would t t plug it in and fend power to the heat tape. It has a thermostat on it too. It only activates when it gets down to like 48 degrees. Oh, okay. But you don't have to run that unless there's an emergency, extremely cold months. And because it does get cold up here in this location. Yes, it does. Yep. Um, you don't have to leave it plugged in 24/7. Just use it when needed. If if for some reason they do freeze up, you got the option of plugging that in and getting heat on the pipe on thawed, or you can leave it plugged in all winter long for three or four months. All right. Well, that's good. Good to know. Definitely. But these heat tapes are good quality today. Not like the older flat ones that were really dangerous and problematic. But these are good quality. Heat tapes now. All right, cool. All right, well, thank you for explaining that. Yeah, and there's the well, of course. And that's, that's the, that is the well. That hasn't changed. <laughs> we decided to keep it there. We didn't want to move it. <laughs> I could pull that up out of the earth and move it around for Ed, but I decided not to today. Right, it's only 120 feet deep, and he's pretty strong. He said he could probably pull that whole cast iron thing out of there. <laughs> so. so Bill did come back in here, guys. And refill this all in, obviously, as you can see. Um, again, this whole area is going to be cleaned out. What we want to do here is actually build a woodshed for Mom and back here. And then what we'll do is we will take all of this wood, um, you know, and that will all go into that woodshed. So they will actually end up, when we're finished, uh, getting the woodshed built and all that type of stuff. They will have a two-year supply uh, of wood in their woodshed as well. So there'll be, when when all is said and done, there'll be a two-year supply for this house, and then on the other side, the other woodshed, there'll be a two-year supply of wood in that one as well. All right, so I will show you Margie's camper now. And uh, so we put it here, and... Uh, that's where it's going to sit for the moment. Um, unfortunately, it is at a little bit of an angle <laughs> uh, because of the way that the, the ground was, but we wanted to get it over as much as we can. But it is definitely livable and doable. Uh, very, very cool. It looks really, really awesome. I'll take you inside again in a moment, but um, I'll just kind of walk you around. And so... Uh, the pullout is out, okay. Uh, we do have the power plugged in right now for this, and so uh, that way, if she needs, you know, to utilize any power and stuff like that, she can. And so that's how that looks. And we will walk inside quickly and have a have a look again. So this is where she's going to be at. I wanted to put her here. If you look up, all the trees are right here. Um, it's very shaded for her, so it's going to be cooler. Um, we did pick up a couple of tarps that we're going to throw over the top of it just for now. And um, so she's already bringing stuff up here, as you can see. So close this up. Okay. <laughs> All right, so um, there's storage underneath the bed here. All right, so hold on, let me do this. All right, there we go. All right, so underneath here, there's storage. All right, and so that's a good thing there. With the slide out out, uh, it gives you a lot more room when the slide out is in. You can still get by here, but it's a lot tighter. Oh, no, there's somebody here looking to steal stuff. Oh, no, wait a minute, it's just Margie. I'll get it up for you, Marge. Okay. All right. So, but I want to show you, I mean, I did the video when we were at the dealership, but here's, again, how we are now. So, this here, when you're traveling, you put that there. The doors don't fly open. Look at that. She's a, she's a lush wild cherry. I think those are probably moonshine. I'm not going to say that they are for sure. They're not moonshine. <laughs> <laughs> there you go there you go and then with the freezer up here so um, that's that really really cool um, they've got the three burners this pops up 
actually just lift it. Ooh, if I could not smash it, it would be good. Mm -hmm. um, so there's how that is, and then you just fire I think it, it just up. Leans back, doesn't it? Uh, uh, no, uh, no, matter. just uh, yep. So, but that's you know, for that, and I'll push that back down. So and then you got your cutting board here as well, which is kind of neat. And then um, if we go back here. Oh, one thing. Yes. Before you leave this building, you will do a head count that makes sure that yours is the only one in here. When I leave what building? This one. The I had to throw one of your cats out. Oh, what Physically, of the throw it out to get it. Oh my God, how funny. Um, so there's the shower. Toilet right here. Uh, let's see if we got a light in here. There we go. Okay. So, good bathroom. Um, real good sized bathroom. You got the toilet. You got your sink. You got your mirror. There I am. Hello. A um, lot of room to put stuff up in here. Shelves there. And then underneath. And then you also have underneath here. And then plenty of room um, in here. So there's a lot of room uh, to put stuff. And then the bedroom in the back. And let's see where the light is in here. Uh, let's see. It's got to be over there somewhere. Let me see what we got. All right, that's a plug-in. Maybe the switch is out here. I don't know. Hold on. Let me look at it a second. Hey, Margie, where's the light for the bedroom? I don't know. I'm not seeing a switch unless this is it over here. That could be it. No, that's not it. Huh. Unless... I don't see a light. Well, you got the lights here. Yeah. I don't know. Well, anyway, we'll have to figure that out. That's something to explore. <laughs> right? But anyway, so here's the bedroom. It's a good sized bedroom. Um, very, very deep storage in through the closets. And then under the bed is storage as well. Which is, yeah, I don't see, I don't know where the light is for that. It's got to be. Oh, you got the light here too, Marge. Yeah. So you've got, there's got to be a switch someplace. Mm -hmm. All right, well, we'll have to figure it out. Okay. All right, yeah, because you got three lights in there, so. Yeah, that should be. Yeah, I don't know. I just put that there to get it out of the way. No, that's fine. All right, let me slide out of here. All right. I'll turn this one off. So, yeah, turn that off. So, you want to kill these lights too? Yes, I can kill those. Oh, okay. okay. All right, so. My pants fit. I'm so happy. Oh, good. Good. So, yeah, it's just, you know, it's really convenient. There's a little bit, there's plenty of room in this. Um, and for Margie being in here, it's going to be more than enough room for her, which is a good thing. So, so that's where we're at. Uh, you know, so she's all set here. And then uh, come November, this will come down with me um, down to West Virginia. And I'll stay in this in West Virginia until, you know, probably this either the spring, I'll come bring it back or... I'll leave it down there. We haven't really figured all that out yet, but we'll we'll deal with all that when we get to that point. But um, so that's where we're at for right now, guys. I'm just trying to work on things and get everything in place. But having this here now um, is good. Again, let's say SHTF happened tomorrow. Margie's got some place that she can stay right in here, which is awesome. So that is a good thing. So anyway, I'm going to jump off of this video for right now. And I wanted to share you, give you some updates, give you the update, what's going on with the running water uh, and those type of things and how we're going to be watering the garden moving forward and show you the camper. Uh, I will be doing a second video today, so definitely join me for that. And uh, we got some interesting things I want to discuss about, and I do want to discuss about my neighbor um, that passed away. And I want to talk about that and wonder if there is a link with something. So we'll discuss that in the second video that I do today. Uh, so for right now, I am going to jump off here. Remember, folks, we are all in this together. We are one race called the human race. And as soon as we can focus on that, we're going to be in much, much better shape. Also remember to hug and kiss the ones you love. Tell them every single day. Tomorrow is not guaranteed. Look how beautiful that is.
just absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to spin this around. Um, you know, tell them every day, tomorrow's not guaranteed. Also, remember, guys, STD, step, thing, and day. One step at a time, one thing at a time, and one day at a time. Whatever you're trying to do, whatever you're trying to accomplish, you can do it. The only one that can stop you from reaching those goals is you. That's it. Um, I know somebody had asked, and I just wanted to show you guys really quickly while I was still on this video, about hawks um, and the chickens. You can see this whole area here of the run is kind of shaded with the, with the, uh, with the trees, okay? So um, that's, uh, they, they have that protection, so a hawk can't just kind of swoop in easily into here to get the, at the chickens. All right, I will see you all later. I hope everybody's having a great day, and uh, I will do a second video later for you guys. All right, Prepper Nurse One, out for now. It's always craziness here. There's always something going on. <laughs> There's Miss Soxie.